There's a part of me I can't get back A little girl grew up too fast All it took was once I'll never be the same But I'm taking back my life today There's nothing left that you can say Cause you were never gonna take the blame anyway now I'm a warrior, I've got thicker skin, I'm a warrior, I'm stronger than I've ever been, and my armor is made of steel, you can't get in, I'm a warrior, and you can never hurt me again. Hello, and welcome to Bulletproof Heart. If you don't already know me, my name is Sam, and I'm addicted to bullet journaling. Today, I want to talk about my trip to a psych facility. Um, I know this is like a touchy subject for some people, I guess, and it's kind of a little bit uncomfortable to talk about because there's a, there's still a huge stigma around mental illness and getting help. And I am here to tell you that it is okay to ask for help if you need it. In fact, it may save your life. And life is a precious thing. It's a gift that we were given. For some reason, we may not know why, but it's important. I just want you to cherish it. And I want you to know that you're not alone. If you need help at all, don't forget to call this number down here on the bottom. It'll be down below. While I was in the hospital, I still tried to keep up with my bullet journaling. So I have separate pieces of paper that I would keep my journal stuff on because I didn't want to take my actual bullet journal because there's strings on it. And when you go into the hospital, they take all your strings off of you. If you have any clothes with strings on them, they cut them off. They take your shoelaces out. Um, and it's for your safety. So this was my third trip to a mental health facility. It's okay. It's okay to keep having to go back. My, the first time was probably two years ago, um, and I went back this time that I went this time. I went to the same facility that I went to the first time because the second facility that I went to, I didn't really feel like it helped. It was like, basically it was just a hallway and you weren't allowed to leave and it felt like jail and it wasn't, it wasn't comfortable for me. But the facility that I went to my first and my third time with, there's they have wonderful staff to me it felt like school like a boarding school kind of because you have your rooms and you have the the unit that you stay on but at that facility they have different groups that you can go to and some of them are off of the unit so we had our allied therapy group which was like art and music and we sometimes went off the unit for that and we went into like the art therapy room where we could draw or play games or do whatever and then they did music and then they also had a gym that we would go to after dinner um, and we would leave the we would leave our unit to go to the cafeteria to have breakfast lunch and dinner they provided snacks throughout the day as well so you were never hungry you never had to worry about food and it was really it was really amazing I had a really good time um, honestly I didn't want to leave because I was comfortable but it's when you get comfortable that you have to get out. You have to get out of your comfort zone and you have to go back. And when I got back home, I felt so overwhelmed because I'm still in this transition period um, in my life and it just, it feels really hard to deal with. But I know that I need help and I know that I need, I know what I need to do to seek help. I need to call a blended case manager to help me figure out how to get another place to live and how to get out of all this debt that I'm in. I don't know if they can help me with that or not, but I'm hoping. Um, and I, I see a therapist. I've been seeing the same therapist for three years. I have a psychologist I have, or a psychiatrist. I have, I have so many resources at my disposal. When I first went into a psych unit, I was so scared because I didn't have all the resources that I have now. And while I was in the hospital, they said, you're not starting over, you're starting wiser. So just because you relapse in your recovery does not mean that you're starting over because you already have all that knowledge from the first or second time that you went. Some people go, they're on their 10th or 11th time and that's okay because they need help and they know that. It makes me so mad when 
you have people that say, oh, well, you don't need to go get help. Just deal with it. You're okay. That's, it's not okay because you know you're not okay and you know you need help and it's okay to ask for help. I'm here today to tell you that it is okay to ask for help and I'm going to kind of go in a little bit more depth of how my experience was. Um, but I wanted to show you how I sort of kept up with my bullet journaling while I was in the hospital because it is possible. Even though I didn't have my actual journal with me, I was still able to keep up with my weekly logs and I actually printed out my sleep and my mood tracker before I left and I took that with me so that I was able to keep on task with those things. So I'm going to show you what I have. I'm going to be transitioning it back into my bullet journal. That way it's all in one book and cohesive and everything. So let's get to it. I was in the hospital for about two weeks. Before I left home, I printed out a copy of my sleep and mood tracker and on the back I wrote about my first four days. And then the center paper is just plain printer paper that I made boxes on for a week. And then the one all the way to the left, I had a nurse print me out a dot grid page. So I'm going to be transferring everything from these pages back into my journal. It was really hard to track my sleep because I wasn't allowed to have my Fitbit or my phone for that matter. So I couldn't see how much sleep I was actually getting. So I had to guesstimate. But it was really helpful monitoring my moods every day while I was starting new medications just so that I could see how I was feeling, how they might have affected my moods, and I could also show my doctor um, how I was feeling and what was kind of going on with me. So it was really helpful to have that with me. Anyway, I'm going to kind of go into my story a little bit of why I went into the hospital, I suppose. Um, I have been struggling uh, uh, with a lot of things. Um, finances, finding a house, I'm in the middle of a breakup, and there's just a lot going on and I was having a hard time handling it. And at the time, I wasn't on any of my meds because I was recently in the hospital because the ones that I was on were interfering strangely with one another and it sent me to the hospital. So I had to stop taking all of my meds. I was having severe suicidal thoughts and I was not handling anything well. I was isolating myself and I just kept having thoughts that nobody really cared and I was just to the point where I couldn't take it anymore. So I called the crisis hotline and they had been monitoring me for about a week before I finally decided to admit myself. They would call me every day um, to check on me and make sure that I was doing okay. and. Eventually, I just called the psych center that I was go that I wanted to go to to see if they had any beds available, and I set something up, and I went and got myself some help. And it's not how the TV portrays it. They don't strap you down and torture you or anything like that. Um, the facility that I went to was very caring. They had very caring staff, and I appreciate every single one of them. They helped me so much. It's sort of like taking a mini vacation. You get to escape reality for a short period. You can take a step back and reflect on where you are in life and what you need to move forward. And you're surrounded by caring and like-minded people. It's truly empowering. You learn so much while you're there and you're not weak for asking for help. In fact, it makes you stronger because you know that you need help and you're showing yourself love by getting the help that you need. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. I really hope it inspired you to seek out help if you need it. Um, again, I'm really sorry that I haven't really been here to post videos, but I've been getting the help that I need because I need to be strong in order to help you be strong. You're not alone. You're not weak. It makes you stronger when you know you need help and you seek the help that you need. Stay creative. Stay beautiful. Have a great day.